Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Hello! We're currently up in Lake Tahoe. Just yes. Fresh off the playa. Fresh off the bird. Hey y'all, it's Conrad Lewis. And Haley Page. And we're here at Burning Man right now. We're about to do the man burn. So we've already seen two massive burns. They had fireworks and pyrotechnics coming out while it was burning. So we're back from Burning Man and we are so darn hungry. Yes, we had our shower. We regrouped thanks to my parents letting us stop by and uh, we're gonna have a bake off. <laughs> it's time for a bake off. Burning Man style. Yes, Burning Man style because similar to being at Burning Man, you kind of have to work with the ingredients you have. So we're gonna scavenge through the pantry, see what we can put together, and try and create some Burning Man themed dishes. Oh wait, first a three hour tour. I wanna show you our view because if Burning Man wasn't inspiring, this certainly will be. Take it in. Mother Nature. She's so pretty. Okay, and come this way. <laughs> this piece, little little creative art piece, was made by Conrad. How cool, dude. What, Conrad made that? Well, it's not a real head. Don't throw him under the bus. <laughs> All right, so should we see what we're working with? Yes. Okay, because I'm not sure my parents left us very much. <laughs> a lot of condiments. Ooh, dibs on the eggs. No, what? You can't call dibs. Call them dibs. What? Double stamp, triple stamp. No races. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's an entire drawer of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> so onto the pantry here. <gasps> dibs on the pancake mix. I thought we can't do dips. You already dipped the eggs. I'm dipping the You eggs. already dipped the eggs. <laughs> oh, I see some V8 tomato juice. Um, are we drinking Bloody Marys right now? Uh, I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and dibs on the granola. All right. What, are you gonna put granola with your eggs? That'd be weird. I don't know what I'm doing. It sounds like you're going savory, perhaps. I think so. I, I need one first. other item. Mm. I see sriracha in there. Of course. Oh, well look at this. I have the necessary ingredients to make what I'm gonna make. Okay, what are you gonna make? So, one of the signature dishes of our Burning Man camp, the Flaming Ugly Cowboy Saloon, is a dish called Eggs in Hell. And oh. it's sort of like a shashuka. Um, Bless you. Uh, shashuka! <laughs> <laughs> you basically poach eggs in tomato sauce, and uh, hopefully we have some cheese. If not, we'll just have to get creative. Cool. What are you gonna make? Um, well, because I claimed dibs on the pancake mix, I'm gonna make playa cakes. I'm gonna crush up some dustiness and sprinkle my cakes, and they're gonna be playful because the playa is playful. Uh, playful so playa go. dusty. A dusty playful playa cake. Got some brown sugar. Don't worry about it, I'm ready. Well, I'm starting to worry. You seem to have a lot of ingredients you need. I know, I'm pretty impressed. Good job, mom and dad. The house is stocked. Shout out to Mimi and Jeff. All right. All right, well, we're gonna curate our ingredients and we'll see you uh, with our ingredients curated. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, babe. <laughs> My brain is so dusty. <laughs> I've curated the primary ingredients for my eggs in hell, and I'm missing a few things here. Um, I'm missing cheese. So I'll use these croissants. We'll put the eggs on the croissants after they're Ooh, shishukad. Yummy. Yeah, and we've got some garlic butter and sriracha aioli we'll put on top. Oh, that's fancy. And then we'll shishuka the eggs in the tomato juice, add some sriracha, a little Worcestershire. I'm starting to think that this is your secret ingredient because you literally use it in every dish. <laughs> that is a good point. It's like my almond oil or my almond extract. Almond extract. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
But I don't, I need cheese and I don't know how to resolve this. So, hmm. You should get creative. Yes, part of what makes this a Burning Man themed bake off is you have to be resourceful. Yes. In the absence of resources. Yeah. So speaking of absence of resources. Well, I'm gonna use this Bisquick baking mix. However, I have no eggs because somebody is using them. Oops. And uh, I have no milk. So I'm gonna use water. And in true Burning Man spirit, I'm gonna ask my neighbor if I can borrow an egg. What? You learned nothing. <laughs> oh, fine. Here's, here's an egg. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Part of the human experience of Burning Man is that you are always giving. There's no barter system, it's nothing like trading, it's just about providing. Because the player provides, so we all need to provide back. In this Thank case, my egg. <laughs> I provided the egg. I've got the pot going, I'm going to put my tomato juice in here, and I'm splashing on myself. Now I'm gonna follow up with a little sriracha, you know, got to be spicy a little bit of Worcestershire and I need a lemon or lemon pepper but we don't have it so I have them. I always carry it in my bag I'll be right back did somebody order some lemon pepper dust oh my gosh you're amazing you literally have it I completely forgot that she carries us around in her backpack lemon okay, pepper you well, want? anything savory. Yeah, yeah not, not great for pancakes. No. But good for the other things. So I'm going to, uh, I've mixed the things. I'm gonna add some lemon pepper now that I've been gifted lemon pepper. Hey babe? Yeah? Um, don't forget to turn on the oven for your crescent rolls. Oh, I would have forgotten. You know, I feel so looked out for right now. Would have completely forgot to turn on the oven. <laughs> That's why we're partners, babe. Um, also, <laughs> sorry to do this to you, mom and dad, but I was looking for some vegetable oil. Found some, but fun little fact, best before June 2nd of 2011. True story. I um, don't know if we can see that, but. Come on, mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be good. <laughs> How does cooking oil go bad, though? I don't know, but we should have a conversation about it. So I'm gonna use regular extra virgin olive oil in my pancakes and put this back in the pantry. <laughs> because clearly they want it. Ooh. <laughs> we, uh, we found another expired uh, ingredient. <laughs> Mom! Yeah, this is not good. But we're still gonna use it. it but we're still gonna totally eat it. <laughs> um, I just, they're gonna be funny looking croissants. Wait, you can't make them like that here. Let me help you. Let me, let me, let me just. You gotta, we gotta roll them, right? Hold on, hold on. Here, I got it, I'll roll it. Oh, there you go, no! Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna look like classic croissants. Okay. Some of them are more croissant -y than the others. So I found another croissant roll but the expiration on this one is January 30th, 2019. <laughs> these kind of, these croissants turned out a little funny. Um, Haley was very uh, accommodating and helped me roll. You could see Haley rolled these. <laughs> I rolled these. And that one, that's a good one. Let's see how this looks. Here, you, you gotta, no, no, no! <laughs> you gotta peel the label first, silly. <laughs> oh. Right there. I'm just so used to hand making my croissants from scratch. Mwahaha. Let's see how Oh, those look good. Okay, these look better. Okay. Even though they're more expired. Just mashing away at the playa dust. Making my dust. I thought it was leave no trace. I'm not leaving a trace. It's all in the baggie. Yeah. No. <laughs> See, there's this thing at Burning Man called Moop, which is matter out of place. Here, give me your tush. So it wouldn't be a bake-off if we didn't make some sort of uh, Adult beverage. Adult bevy. <laughs> we're, we're Jones and something fiery. So we found ingredients to make Bloody Marys. We've got the V8, the conchons, the, the uh, little cocktail onions dill, 
blah, blah, blah. <laughs> What's important to know here is that my parents have all the ingredients for a delightful Bloody Mary. <laughs> None of which are expired. <laughs> Just kidding, we love you so much. We found some Tentor gin. It's our favorite gin, and our fellow campers, Will and Melissa, this is brew it themselves. Tentor. It's in Nevada, Reno. Yeah, so we're gonna make some burn juice. Burn juice! Burn juice! Oh, and we need the lemon pepper rim. Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. There's our lemon pepper. Oh yeah, baby. Lemon pepper rim. One, two, three, and four. And 15. 1,500. <laughs> two shots of vodka. Little Worcestershire sure. Less for me. I'm gonna put sriracha in mine. Do you oh, want- Oh, no. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> Actually, I'll do a dabble. See, just a dabble. We're gonna go a pinch of lemon pepper. Get sassy with it. We'll add dill. Oh, dill. Delicious. I like that you're going heavy with the pickles. I think a good Bloody Mary should have excessive amounts of accoutrement. We can put some conchon juice in there too. Excellent idea. Yum! Oh, there's one conchon left. I gift it to you. <gasps> Little baby cocktail onions. Blue cheese olives. One. One for me, please. Two. Okay. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's so good. It's good. It's spicy. So fun little tidbit. I actually don't like gin normally, but this is so good. And in Bloody Mary mix, it's amazing. It's amazing. So how are your uh, shashukas going? Oh my God. He got distracted by the Marys. Time to add the eggs. Okay. Also your croissants aren't in. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're on it. <laughs> kind of. All right, let's do this. This may get real messy. Coming over here, because I'm All scared. Right. So I'm gonna turn the heat up a bit. And we wanna crack the egg and keep all the uh, egg white surrounding the yolk. Just careful not to obstruct the yolk. Wonderful. I'm making what? my first fly a cake. Oh. So I'm sprinkling the dust with magic playa dust. You're dusting your playa cakes. Which consists of granola, brown sugar, and cornflakes. That actually looks like the playa. Cool, dude. Cracks and all. <laughs> How are we doing over here? All right. <laughs> what, what's happening over here? My playa broke. <laughs> it's it's also dry like the playa too. It, it is. <laughs> it's metaphorical. <laughs> so I'm trying to patch it with extra batter. <laughs> what are you doing using a metal spatula on Taflon? This is not metal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you supposed to use it on? I don't know. But I know you're supposed to use... Uh, it's not metal. Trust me, this is made for this. I don't know. My playa cake. Oh my gosh, that is so authentically playa though. It is. Ooh, I have an idea. Ooh, it's good. What if you put like some sort of creamy syrupy thing in the cracks? I am one step ahead of you because I have made my syrup. Uh, Fun fact, but the playa is actually a lake bed, and in the colder seasons, it's a lake. So here's some some lake juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lake of Aunt Jemima, <laughs> mixed with other stuff. <laughs> Syrup, honey, and almond, no, vanilla extract, because we don't have almond. <laughs> it is the driest pancake you'll ever see. It is way too authentic. <laughs> How are my uh, croissant, nope, not the, what are my croissants doing? Oh, they're there. I'm adding some garlic butter to this. Now, 
I'm gonna follow it up with a little sriracha aioli. Oh, get down with your saucy, spicy self. Where are we at, babe? I think we're ready. Ooh, that looks so good. Oh, hell yeah. Hell, eggs and hell yeah. Yeah! Meanwhile, my plant cake is dry AF. <laughs> <laughs> but it does look like the playa. Look. <laughs> Cracky, <laughs> dusty. Cracky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, final touches on my playa cakes. A little drizzle of magic lake juice. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. So we have playa cakes. We have eggs in hell, and we have Bloody Marys. Burn juice! Burn juice! <laughs> Look at how good. I mean, I don't know if these are very visually stimulating. <laughs> oh, I'm visually stimulated. <laughs> <laughs> but since we don't have our trusty furry friend judge. Oh, weenie. We're gonna have to let the audience decide. Yes. So comment below and let us know who you think won, but in the meantime, we're gonna taste it and do a little old-fashioned, somewhat unbiased taste test. All right, so let's start right here. I typically like these little runny and they're not this time. But it's not hard. It's not like a hard-boiled egg. Ooh, that looks like a pile of tomatoes. <laughs> too hot, too hot. <laughs> Too much Rookie. help, too much help. Rookie <laughs> mistake. All right, move on to the pancakes. Look at how flaky and dusty wow. those look. <laughs> if there are any terms to describe pancakes, it's flaky and dusty. Okay, this is surprisingly good. <gasps> Say so, it again. Say it again. <laughs> this is surprisingly good. I didn't think I was gonna like this. Yeah. <laughs> Haley made them thin and they aren't as dry as they look. No, I packed them down real nice and dense. They just lack some of the ingredients to connect the, uh, <laughs> the stuff, I think. The connectivity isn't quite there, but mm -hmm. my goodness are the really flat good. lands of pancakes in the ballpark. Okay, my turn, my turn. Eggs in hell first. Ooh, ooh, it's hot. Mmm. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna top it off with a little burn juice. Burn juice. Okay. This is a delight to the senses. Coming over here. Gonna get in my playa cake. Also good. Ooh, this is a tough one. You know why this is tough? Because these are both created with love, you know, you can taste the love. Mm. And one savory and one sweet, so how do you really decide? That's the thing, we don't, you guys decide. Comment below, vote on Instagram, let us know who you think won. Yeah, and thanks for baking with us. We always love having you guys. Oh, we should sign off with our like, do and don't of yep. Burning Man. All right, it looks like the sun is setting. Oh, favorite time of the evening on the playa. And I think we'll just sign off with some do's and don'ts. So my do is do get outside as much as you can and enjoy both a sunrise and a sunset because they're totally different energies and it's really beautiful to wake up with the playa as well as say goodnight to it. My don't is don't feel confined to the experiences of others because if you choose to go to Burning Man, your experience is gonna be truly different. And what they always say on the playa is that the playa delivers. So if there's something that you're seeking, supposedly the playa is supposed to give it to you. But everyone's experience is unique, and that's really cool. See what I mean? In my dues, um, do dress up, get involved, do as much as you can, embrace the experience. Um, it's a, uh, it's one of those things where the more you invest into it, the more fun you're gonna have. My don't, don't get landlocked, don't just stay in one area, see it all. All right guys, we're gonna head back to camp and then we have the man burn tonight. Keep it red. <laughs>
had to improvise my outfit because the eggs in hell were quite burny. <laughs> <laughs> They're very helly. <laughs> I'm hot. <laughs>